We're gearing up for the Season 7 Mid-Season Update, and we wanted to run you through some of the bigger changes and improvements that'll be taking place on the battleground. First, we'll break down Ratatosker's new and long-requested rework. Next up, we'll go over new item changes that really shake things up, especially Hunter and Warrior itemization. Then, we'll get into the map changes we have lined up for the Conquest map, primarily focused around the Jungle Monster changes. We'll also touch on some bug fixes, and finally, we'll close it out with our updates to Ranked. Hey everybody, Ratatosker's rework is here. We're bringing his acorns back with a new twist. We have four new acorns coming to you. We have the Evergreen Acorn, the Thick Bark Acorn, the Bristlebush Acorn, and the Thistlethorn Acorn. Each acorn brings a new, unique way to play Ratatosker that focuses on highlighting one of his abilities or strengths and making you build a little bit different around it. We're excited to get this feature out to you. We can't wait for you guys to play it. And don't think we've forgotten about Loki rework coming up as well. That's going to be something that we're going to be talking about later. It's not in the mid-season, but we'll be following shortly after Ratatosker. The mage item penetration changes from the beginning of the season were pretty successful, so in this patch, we're going to be bringing the same level of change, but for the physical items. Just like with the magical penetration, we're going to be introducing a cap of 40% for physical pen as well. There are going to be several items gaining physical penetration, usually with shifts to their passives and or their base stats. We wanted to make sure there were options for ranged and melee physical characters, as well as making sure we provide enough variants for the different item trees. We hear a lot of you talking about the desire to shift up the playstyle for solo lane and warriors, and while the blessing changes recently were a great start, we're going to be adjusting a few more key items in this patch as well. Gladiator and Berserker Shield, while staples for many warrior builds, are going to be seeing heavy changes. We're not only moving them to be full tier 3 items, but both are going to be getting all new passives, straying away from the sustain style gameplay to be a bit more aggressive. Not only do we have these high level item adjustments, but with them come a bunch of new items with unique effects. There's a little something for everyone. Overall, we are really excited to see what these item changes do for our players and the meta. Be on the lookout for the full patch notes to see all the specifics. In this mid-season patch, we wanted to bring a little bit more variety and intrigue to the jungle of conquest, and specifically the monsters you fight. Many monsters have new abilities. The Manticores, Chimeras, Harpies, Gold Fury, and Fire Giant will be aggressive monsters that look to fight any nearby god that gets too close. The Centaur, for example, will wind up to lunge at a nearby god, while the Satyrs summon extra minions periodically to help him fight, but with no extra reward, of course. Junglers and their teammates beware, you will need to adapt to the camps to avoid them taking a bite out of you. Alongside the jungle monster changes, we are looking at tweaks to the gold shrine and overall balance and stat changes for several objectives on the map. We are also working on changes to the conquest map for Season 8, so be on the lookout for more info on that to come. In this mid-season update, we also have some ranked updates. We've heard from players that players, when they first enter the ranked experience, move up or down a little bit too fast, meaning that if you get a good win streak or maybe a loss streak, you move too high or too low. We're going to be slowing down players when they first enter the ranked experience to make sure that the competitive integrity of the high end and the low end are preserved and make a smoother experience when you first get into ranked. We hope you're all just as excited as we are for the mid-season 7 update. Follow our social channels for all updates, and we'll see you on the Battleground of the Gods.